Only Asians could accomplish this in modern times, without a shadow of a doubt. Or should I say, only Asians are crazy enough to even attempt this. Where you need a 2,900 ton counterweight, a 50 meter radius cast iron hook, several kilometer length of high tension wire, a 1,000 ton super large crawler crane, on a platform with hundreds of wheels and dozens of axles. To move this, Yet archaeologists, in their infinite wisdom, expect us to believe that the ancient Egyptians not only made this 1,200-ton obelisk with sticks and stones and copper, but was also going to move it with twigs and logs and slide it across the desert sand atop wooden sleds. Unfortunately, that's not how physics or engineering works. Twigs are not known for their tensile strength, and dried tree trunks are not known to be load-bearing, over 5 tons. Yet these historians are adamant, that the ancient Egyptians would accomplish it all not because they were trained experts with advanced tools or machinery, but because they had good slaves with rocks and sticks and copper.